What's up you guys, it's Strider and the other week I was upgrading pieces in my computer and I thought hey I might as well show them a build video of what my setup looks like because some of you have commented in the past and asked for that and I just didn't really have the time or setup to do it but I recorded as I did this and thought you guys might enjoy it. The two pieces I'm upgrading were the GTX 660 OC, it's overclocked. Um, to a GTX, and that's NVIDIA by the way, um, 970. And that was kind of a big upgrade because I'm going from two gigabyte graphics card to four gigabyte card, massive difference. And I'm excited that I was managed to keep the 660 for two years. And I thought it was time for an upgrade. So the 970 is crazy. Uh, I love the thing. The other thing I'm adding is literally just a second solid state drive. It's an Intel 535, I think. Um, about 240 gigabyte space. One of the big challenges with this upgrade was one making sure that the EVGA um, the 970 card could fit into my uh, case because it's a mid-size case so not a lot of room. Uh, the other big problem was that I the previous card had only one port power port that was needed. Now the 970 required two because it's four gigabyte card a little more powerful um, and more of a power consumption piece. So that was a big difference because I had to kind of go and make room with all my messy cables. I have horrible cable management and it's because I don't have a modular uh, power supply unit. And if you don't know what that means, modular is basically, uh, it's like Lego. So I can't unplug the cables and take them out of my computer. They're all attached to the power supply unit and whatever ones I don't use, I just got to smash into the back of the case, uh, especially hard with having a mid-sized case. One of the major benefits is now that my card is upgraded and also I put my games on that solid state, basically my games load about four or five times faster. As you can see here, uh, it only takes about 20 seconds or so for in this too to load a map which is insane to me because on a hard drive it took about a minute and a half or so and then even with battlefield it usually takes maybe up to 30 40 seconds to load a map which is mind-blowing to me because battlefield 4 those maps are massive and they would take i would say up to two minutes at certain points on certain maps which would drive me nuts because my brother or other people would be in the game and they're like, I need you right now. I need you to hop in and cover me. And I'm like, ah, uh, cool, man. I am loading still. I know. Sorry, you died. But other than that, I mean, that's a huge upgrade and it helps a lot with recording too, because if I record at 60 frames a second, it'll actually record uh, my gameplay should be 60 frames a second as well. So a lot less jitters that you might have seen in some of my videos um, that I've been putting out at 60 frames a second. Now, as far as the rest of the computer goes, I have all the details in the description below. You can click on that and check it out or just read it. Um, but I'll kind of go over it real quickly. The operating system at the time I was using uh, was Windows 7. I have recently upgraded to Windows 10. That first there was some um, graphics driver issues with Nvidia and Windows 10. They're sorting through it. It seems to be smoothing out over time though. Uh, the big piece for me is my processor or CPU. That's the Intel i7-4770K. I have not overclocked it. I'm scared to and I'm okay with it being at 3.5 gigahertz. I know a lot of you are probably like, dude, you have such a powerful computer. Like just overclock it. It'll be sick, bro. For me, I don't want to do it right now. I'm okay with that much power. It honestly is a little bit overkill for what most people need. Um, the card, as you already know, is a 4GB EVGA NVIDIA GTX 970. Um, that's the full name of it. Kind of silly, but that's what I got to put in the description for you to understand. The memory I have, or the RAM, is 8GB of G-Skill Rip Jaws. I wish I had 16, and I think I'm going to upgrade pretty soon because... It's really annoying having to edit videos and those files are temporarily loaded in and it takes forever to actually edit this stuff. As far as hard drive space goes, I have two solid state drives and two hard drives. So the first solid state is for the operating system, 120 gigabyte Samsung, 
The second one is just for games that I just put in. 240 gigabyte Intel. And then the two hard disks are both one terabyte. That's just for like project files and music and whatever else. Um, one is a Western Digital and one is a Seagate. They both work great. So that's a solid setup. As far as the case goes, it is a NZXT. Weird name for a company. I don't know what the full meaning of it is. Uh, it's called Alexa. Mid-size black case. It's got some cool blue LEDs that I just randomly picked it out because it was on a good sale. For the mouse, it is a SteelSeries Sensei Raw. Um, kind of different because it's all rubberized and cool looking. What that means is when I'm eating or munching down on like game fuel, basically the chips and stuff won't, won't like, uh, I don't know what the word is, get all over the mouse. Uh, I forget. I don't even know what to call it. Anyways, moving on. The keyboard I have is a Microsoft Sidewinder. It's been awesome because it's kind of a mechanical keyboard. I wouldn't, I don't know if you, some of you might correct me, but it has some shorter keys. So with that, basically it's a lot quieter, but it's smooth. It has some macro keys on the side I use every now and then. A big thing for my setup is my headset. So when I'm gaming or when I'm editing, I wear this thing for movie watching. It's my Astro A40s. These things are super comfortable. Um, basically it has like cloth padding on the ear pad and some of you might think that would get very like hot and sweaty but actually the leather ones that you might have I used to have some Razor Krakens and those things would get so hot because of the leather um, just think about like a like a car seat if you have leather car seats they get way hotter than your cloth car seats Anyways, that was actually a lot longer than I thought to ramble through uh, my build, but that's kind of the gist of it for now. I might upgrade later, I'll let you guys know if I do, but basically what I have is little extra peripherals, peripherals are my webcam, which I actually only use for Skype. I don't think I'll ever put a video up of me using the webcam. It's a Logitech 920, something like that. Really cool guy. Uh, I do have sweet blue LEDs on the back of my Asus monitor. It's not just blue though, it changes color. So if I'm playing like a horror game or something, I'll change it to red. I don't know, just to be weird. Or I'll turn it off because sometimes they're over the top and I just want to relax. But on the side I have a Microsoft uh, wired Xbox 360 controller that does great for third person games or FIFA. Or any kind of weird sports games. I heard it's good for Rocket League. Which I want to get. Anyways that's another video. Um, I do have a Logitech uh, joystick. I use that for Warhammer. Or any kind of flying games. And I've tried to use it in Battlefield. But I learned that I die pretty quick. When I use a joystick in Battlefield. I might need to adjust it. But for the microphone I'm actually talking into. Is an Audio Technica AT2020. I've had this thing for about 6 years. Which is kind of crazy that it survived so long. With my moving and the abuse I put on it. But it's been an awesome microphone. And I love it to death. Now some of you might not actually like any of this jargon. Or the talking of you know specs and all that. I get kind of nerdy into it. Because I've built 3 computers so far. One is for my brother that you hear playing with me. In Natural Selection. The other is for uh, Ian, my buddy who actually plays Insurgency with me, and then my own that I've had for about two years. So I kind of get into it. I don't know all like the details and craziness that some people get into, like overclocking, but I know a little bit. If you want some help kind of building your own or, or ideas on how to do it, basically I'm going to put links in the description. Uh, one to Logical Increments and another to New Egg. Uh, build videos that I actually followed myself to build my own computer the first time. It's frightening, but you know, the only way to learn is to do it, and that's how I learned. I am curious as to what you guys play on though, because I have heard some crazy stories of people putting like hoses from outside going through their window up to their PC fan just to make sure it stays cool. Uh, that's a little crazy, but I love it. I saw another picture on Reddit the other day of a guy putting his he put his computer in his refrigerator and had it open <laughs> i don't get it but uh put in the comment below what you guys play on and what kind of games you play with it and if you like the video please give it a like other than that 
I will talk to you guys later.